Strategy Simplified, Naman here to tell you about one of my favorite new podcasts from a brand that I followed for a long time. Check out the Art of Manliness podcast. If you're sick of having to wade through two hours of fluff just to get a few good takeaways, tune in to the Art of Manliness podcast. Just like Strategy Simplified, they glean and distill the very best insights from the world's experts, not just in business, but in self-improvement, philosophy, practical skills, history, and more. The best part? They do it in under an hour, without all the eye-roll-inducing filler. You'll walk away from every episode with actionable insights you can start implementing today to improve your life. Check out the Art of Manliness podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen. Naman here with a quick announcement before we get into today's episode. I know that you can't get enough of Strategy Simplified. Don't worry, the analytics gave you away. Well, I've got good news for you. Starting next week, we're going to be coming to you with two new episodes a week. So check back in every Wednesday and every Friday for new episodes from Strategy Simplified. Without further ado, let's get into today's episode, where I talk to our guest about the core consulting skills he learned during his MBA and during Strategy Sprint and how he's leveraged those to break into an exciting new career. Ernesto, welcome to Strategy Simplified. We're so happy to have you with us today. Well, if you're a regular listener of Strategy Simplified, you'll know that one of our traditions is we we ask our guests guests a couple of fun questions uh, before we officially kick off. And so I've got a couple for you. First off, talk to me about your favorite hobby. My favorite hobby right now is cycling. Uh, I took it up during the pandemic last summer and I've been riding around uh, New Orleans. Uh, Just it's great to get out in the open air and uh, see different sceneries and get a workout at the same time. So that's been one of my favorite hobbies right now. That totally beats a Peloton if you ask me. Yeah. (laughs) I love that. What's the longest ride you've been on during the pandemic? About four hours. Wow. wow. Yeah, about four hours. You can just because you can just stay on there and then you, you know, get the adrenaline rushing and you just keep on going, keep on going. You don't notice how far you've gone and how tired you are until you get off the bike. And then you're like, oh, no, but it's just the adrenaline starts rushing. And then you're like, I want to go farther and farther. (laughs) It's, It's like that runner's high. Once you hit that push through that wall, you're in. You're in. I love it. Well, you've been doing a lot of kind of sightseeing within New Orleans and and where you're based. Once things open back up, what's at the top of your travel list? Where do you want to go when we're able to travel again? When we're able to travel again, I would love to go to Italy. I've, you know, Mm. been in Europe and Spain and the UK, but I've never um, had... Uh, the opportunity to be to go to Italy. So I'm really excited about, you know, traveling over there and eating some good food. Absolutely. We're going to have to sideline after this conversation. I have some recommendations for you, for sure. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ernesto, uh, thanks again for being on. So excited for our community to get to know you a little bit better. Uh, you know, I'm really excited to share your story just about how Strategy Sprint helped you build the skills um, to succeed in in what you're doing now. And, and, you know, it's a little bit different than traditional management consulting, but it's still, you know, a, a business operational role. So can you just talk to us about, you know, who you are, right? Just a quick background uh, of yourself, your story, and then what you're up to these days. Sure. So I'm originally from Nicaragua, but I grew up in Miami. I'm a Tulane MBA. And before the MBA, I was at Ralph Lauren as a sales executive. Uh, where I developed a successful career and then I got the bright idea that I needed to balance out my soft skill set with a more analytical based knowledge skill set and that's what inspired me to pursue an MBA focusing on data analytics and finance. While at Tulane I had the opportunity to go to General Motors and work in their advanced analytics team. Also While at Tulane, I joined the consulting club there, and that's where I met you and Jenny Ray. Uh, You came for a case workshop um, to the school and got the consulting bug, got hooked on consulting, 
did the two strategy sprints that saved my um, my life after uh, COVID. Jenny and you and Lisa were sort of like my partners in my uh, COVID life because, you know, on lockdown, I was listening to all the programming. And so it was just kept me occupied, kept me focused. And the strategy sprint really helped me to understand what this whole case and consulting world was all about. Uh, and I got a better perspective of what it takes to be a consultant. I have a funny story that after I was through with the strategy sprints, I had some like a colleague, former colleague, contact me, said, hey, I know you're interested in consulting. I have this project for you if you're, you know, if you're up for it. I'm working for this medical services company and we need some help with our staffing issues. And I, I freaked out. I'm like, me, what? Can I do this on my own? And then I just said, no, hold on. Yeah, you can. You've done this strategy sprint experience twice. You can totally come up with a proposal. And that's what I did. I came up with the proposal, showed it to Lisa. Uh, she was like, yeah, that's good. Um, unfortunately, that project didn't, fall, didn't come through because of budget on their side. I'm expensive. <laughs> <laughs> a strategy sprint has made you expensive huh? yeah 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 exactly and so um but then i was able to land another project with a law office that i'm currently working with optimizing their operations and it's all through this experience of being able to you know deal with a real world business problem solve it and then have the confidence that i could go and apply it to another real world business problem on my own so that's me in a, in a nutshell. Uh, <laughs> and that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah, once you, once you have the right skills and the framework and the mindset, right, the type of business problem doesn't matter as much because you know that you can, you can structure an approach to it, you can break it down into its component pieces, and you can just walk through that process step by step. Yeah, and I think it's learning that and understanding that and then being able to apply it is is really important. And I think that's what Strategy Sprint provides you with. We'll be right back after this quick message from our sponsor. You've already been introduced to the Art of Manliness podcast at the top of this episode. Now, I'm back to tell you about one of my favorite episodes, The Strategy Paradox. In this episode, Michael Rayner explains The Strategy Paradox, the fact that the same sound strategy can lead to both success and failure. It's a fascinating episode with actionable insights for any business leader. I'd highly recommend you checking it out. The link to the episode is in the show notes. Ernesto, you said something really uh, unique that I just want to kind of follow up on in that initial answer is you said you did strategy sprint twice. Uh, and so what made you come back and do a second project? So um, I, I was really excited with the first time around. And then the second time around, I felt that I could expand on my knowledge. And I, I was able to do so because the first time was sort of like, whoa, my God, what's happening here? And, you know, falling and stumbling and learning. Um, then the second time around, I had my bearings and I was really able to, you know, develop more. So I think what made me come back was I want to continue learning this concept of breaking down a problem into its component parts. And now that I have a better idea of what it is, I can upskill the skills that I already have. And I was able to, you know, I know one of the projects that you do during the week is build out um, a dashboard. And so like the second dashboard that I built was incredible. I, I'm, you know, so proud of it. <laughs> then the second time around, my team won the case competition, which was, I got first, my team got second place the first time around. So I guess I just had to come back to get that first place case competition win. <laughs> I love it. You're like me, Ernesto. You're, you know, it's first place or bust. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and for those of you who don't know, Strategy Sprint is a one-week consulting project that you're staffed on for a real client. 
and it's led by a former MBB consultant. And as a part of the training in the run-up to the project, you have one day of, of skills training and then a one-day virtual case competition to apply what you've learned in the training. Uh, and, and we have a lot of fun with that. And, you know, the teams compete against each other all in good fun during that case competition. Uh, and yes, Ernesto's team did come out the clear winners his second time around. So, Ernesto, talk to me about the projects that you are staffed on. You know, who who was your client the first time around, and and what was one big learning that you got um, from that first project? Sure, the first project we were working with uh, an auto care af- uh, an aftermarket uh, aftercare automotive uh, diagnostic startup, and they were developing a business model focused on giving consumers diagnostic uh, services, we were able to do market research, competitive analysis, and find that that wasn't the best route for this startup to go into. And so we recommended a subscription-based model that allowed him to um, target the market and make it more accessible to a broader market and make it more profitable. Um, I really enjoyed the opportunity to observe and you know research the market and provide recommendations for this startup that they were able to implement and you know gain some you know definite profits from absolutely that's amazing and and what was one learning that you had from that project either you know as far as working with the internal team or or interfacing with the client or just about kind of business and strategy in general Um, One thing that I loved from that experience was working with my team lead, which was uh, a McKinsey, former McKinsey uh, manager. And she said one line that has stuck with me and has helped me, you know, get through a lot of different situations with working in teams. And she said, you have to be solution based, not problem based. And I've used that line extensively because, you know, you're working in a team and you have these people that are are fighting you. And it's we're all on a team. We all have this one goal. Let's be solution based, not problem based. And so that was the one takeaway. There were many, but that was one that really stuck out. And I'm just like, that's genius. (laughs) That's the secret sauce right there. Yeah, (laughs) it'll it'll have you rise to the top in any team environment that you're in. Yeah. Yeah. It's genius. And then your second time around, you were kind of vice team leader, right? Underneath the MBB project leader. Can you talk to me about your experience uh, kind of helping lead a team your second time around? So leading the team was intense because everyone was looking at me for answers. Luckily, I felt confident. I was like, okay, we could do this. We could do this. But that's I exactly used that strategy of let's be solution based instead of problem based to win our case because every you know you don't have a lot of time to come up with the idea and then everyone's going in different directions and it was just about let's get it done we only have this amount of time and we have to fit it into this structure and so it's great to be able to lead a team use the information that I had learned and apply it and help them grow and you know help myself grow also. Absolutely. You talked to Ernesto at the top of our conversation about how you felt very confident even pre-MBA in the soft skills that you had built uh, during a sales career, Um, but you really went back to school to build the hard skills. Uh, Did strategy sprints still help you hone those soft skills? Yes, absolutely. Um, Working in different team environments and having to navigate those different personalities is incredible. Everyone on both of my teams were golden. They were all, you know, willing to be there and willing to put in the effort. Um, But you're still dealing with different personalities and different, you know, um, types of work. And so learning that and being able to see that is a really good, you know, opportunity to learn about working in teams, especially when you're under pressure and it's a time crunch. It's a microcosm of consulting, right? You each own your own work stream, but you're you're working together uh, very closely at the same time. And even though everybody's smart and committed, it doesn't mean that there's no conflict. Exactly, exactly. 
And then how about how about the hard skills that you built? I, I know you mentioned building out those Excel dashboards. Can you just talk to me about how you were able to take what you learned in your MBA and actually apply it in a real world setting? Well, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I was. So uh, the number one was building out that dashboard um, because I had to a clean up the data. It wasn't uh, usually in school, um, they give you perfect data. You don't really have to clean it up. It's not, you know, messy or gunky. And then in strategy sprint, you know, you have real data and you have to clean it up. Um, I learned to work with different functions in Excel that I had never used, such as trim, um, VLOOKUP, uh, and I recently had an Excel assessment where that was one of the things that I had to do was a VLOOKUP. So for everyone out there, you better know how to do a VLOOKUP. <laughs> Although Excel has a new one that's called XLOOKUP. I don't know if you're familiar with that one, but yeah, uh, that was my main takeaway was being able to work, you know, on projects with these hard skills that weren't planned out for you. I also really loved learning about the pyramid principle. And I think that's an awesome way to, you know, go forward in your presentations because you can present and at an executive level and be more cohesive with your ideas. Absolutely. You know, our, our Fortune 1000 partners tell us that's the number one skill that their teams lack is the ability to to focus and prioritize on what's most important and, and be hypothesis driven as a result. And, and the pyramid principle really helps you do that. And, and you know, your, your comment about X lookup, you know, we all know about V lookup, maybe a little bit less of us know about H lookup, but if you don't know X lookup, then maybe strategy sprint is for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Ernesto, someone out there is listening to us and they're like, you know what, I, this experience sounds interesting. I, I want to add relevant project experience to my resume. I want to build these skills in a real world setting. I, I want to get mentorship from a former McKinsey Bain or BCG consultant, but they're, they're still on the fence. So what would you tell someone who's considering strategy sprint? I would say do it because you are going to be able to have these stories to speak of and they're going to be credible, interesting stories that you're going to be able to flesh out in your interview story and in your interview uh, in your in your interviews um, because I've used them and I'm thankful for having them. I pivoted, you know, I was doing a career pivot or I'm doing a career pivot and these experiences have helped me to be more credible so i totally recommend the opportunity to put yourself into a situation where you're testing your skills having fun and meeting great people um, that will be connections going forward for your entire life so totally recommend it it's a must do <laughs> i love that I love that. I think I think that that piece about building connections with your teammates is really underrated, um, right? You're building out your network at the same time you're building these skills and this experience. Exactly, exactly. Both uh, both experiences, we developed a great camaraderie uh, within the group, and we were just like great friends and enjoyed the experience. Like no, you know, no bad uh, vibes with anyone. It was really great. So. That's one thing I have to say about the MC community. Y'all are awesome. Uh, there's not, not a bad apple among among you. Uh, and, and so it's really fun to to work with you and, and see you all work together. Well, Ernesto, uh, it's, been a, it's been great catching up with you. I'm so glad that we were able to make this happen. Thanks for joining us on Strategy Simplified. Thank you, Naman. Great to catch up with you also. Thank you for having me. Thanks for listening to today's episode. As always, if you like what you hear, share, like, and subscribe. Don't forget, our networking intensive is happening this Sunday from 12 to 3 p.m. Eastern. There are just a handful of seats left. Click the link in the show notes to learn more and grab your ticket. We'll see you then.